Hello, Ken. Hello, Mike. Hello, hello. Thanks um, for joining me. And thanks, everybody, for watching. My name's Mike Jenkins, and this is... I'm Ken Jones. And we are Words Out Loud. Um, and we're here today, Ken and I, to discuss the winning entries, or rather to announce the winners of our Wagtail Coffee and Yoga and Words Out Loud Poetry Contest. The theme this year was What's in a Year? Um, we had uh, a, a wonderful selection of entries. We felt the quality was really quite high this year, didn't we, Kim? We did. I was just going to say that, Mike, and it was um, it was striking the way that uh, the different uh, applicants applied the theme in different ways. So some people were thinking of the year just gone. Some people wanted to look ahead for a year. Some people thought in general about the changes during a year. So it was interesting that um, people had different takes on the theme. Yeah, exactly. Um, so for anyone watching who doesn't know, um, this time last year was our very first poetry competition in conjunction with Wagtail Coffee and Yoga. Um, and what was really exciting about that in, well, it was kind of February, March, the lockdown, wasn't it, Ken? In, it was. In 2021, is that um, Wagtail Coffee and Yoga, on, on the, they have a very long window, very large plate glass window, obviously a glass window. Um, <coughs> and um, they displayed the entries as they were coming in. So we thought that would be really nice to do again this year, since shops and society has opened up a great deal more after the pandemic. Um, and so we did that again. So for anyone who's been in and out of Chichester, you may have seen uh, the poems appearing um, as they've been entered, and they now fill the window of Wagtail Coffee and Yoga. So they'll be there probably for a couple more days if you are in Chichester and would like to go and see that. But also we have uh, a PDF on our website, which is wordsoutloud.org.uk. If you go to the competition page, there's a link there to view the poems. You can view all of the entries. But we're here today to make an announcement of the winners. So, would you do your divine? Without further ado, without further ado, let me introduce you to Mike, who was one of our judges, to make the formal announcements. And congratulations to all of our winners. Um, just to say that all of our winners um, who are local to Wagtail receive a Wagtail Coffee and Yoga gift card um, and our international and national award winner will receive a Starbucks gift card. Indeed, because as we know, coffee shops uh, are, are great hubs of creativity and new ideas. Um, so we think it goes very well. Coffee and poetry and writing and creativity, certainly new ideas. I think actually, if you were to look back at, at um, how some of the very first coffee houses uh, were used by the population, um, a great many revolutionary ideas were born in, in some of the first coffee houses. Um, so, so yes, so two- Who won, Mike? Sorry? Who won? Who won? <laughs> so, so the winners are for the 14, this is for the 14 to 17 category. Um, the winner is Anna Douglas. So congratulations, Anna. Um, Anna also, um, we, we pre-announced Anna, Anna's winning um, poem to herself, um, because she actually came along to three events this week uh, in the Chichester district to represent words out loud. Um, there were three events to launch the season of culture in Chichester. So big congratulations to Anna, well done. And Anna's poem was entry number 28, and it was titled A Year Ago Today. Um, so we've notified all of the winners um, this morning um, and we're hoping that they'll all be able to come along uh, to our next open mic at Wagtail Coffee and Yoga on Wednesday the 6th of April from 6.30pm onwards. So if you're watching this, you'd like to come along and hear some of those winners read their poems, please do. So well done, Anna. Uh, worth saying too, Mike, that... Um... The under 14 category didn't have an entry, so that's why we don't have a winner in that category. Yes, thanks, Ken, that's true, yep. So we didn't have any entries in that category. So well done, um, Anna. The next winner, this is for our category um, ages 18 to 29. The winner is, I feel like I'm on one of, one of those shows. Were you gonna say something? I was gonna say the winner's name. 
Oh, well, you can say it, but you've got to leave one of those appropriately irritating long silences and maybe we open a golden some, envelope some drums and some you know throbbing lights the winner is abigail martin abigail martin and that was with entry number 15 titled better ways well done anna abigail abigail well done well done frida and <laughs> barry and george well no seriously well done abigail um and thank you very much for entering, uh, you're the winner of the 18 to 29 category. The next winner is in the category uh, ages 30 to 59, and the winner is... Emma Derbyshire. Yay! Well done, Emma. Well done, Emma. And that was entry number 20, titled What's in a Year, Part 1. Uh, the winner of the next category, which was 60 plus, was Lindsay Rebeck. Well done, Lindsay. Well done, Lindsay. That was entry number 32, and that was titled What's in a Year? Now, next, our next category is our national and international category. So this is someone who's not local to Chichester. Um, and the winner of that category is Britta Benson. Britta Benson. Well done. That was entry number seven. And, and Britta resides in Cumbernauld in Scotland. Thank you. Yes, she does indeed. Um, and has joined us before on, on our um, open mic Zoom. Uh, so we're hoping that she will come along on Wednesday, the 20th of April to our Zoom open mic, which Ken will say a little bit about um, at the end of this. Um, <laughs> so that was entry number seven, Britta Benson from Cumbernauld and the title of her poem was What's in a Year. And finally, the People's Choice Award is in. People have been voting up and down the country and the People's Choice Award is... The goes People's, to, Choice, goes the People's, People's Award Choice Award goes, goes, to goes, to goes to Kate Cameron. Congratulations, Kate. Congratulations, Kate. And Kate's poem was entry number 29, East to West. So if I just say, Mike, there are a couple of things that I liked in particular about two of the poems. I just want to mention two of the lines in those poems that struck mm. me as as being very I, I, as being. I don't know whether they were things that I could identify with, but things that I really enjoyed about them. Um, in Britta's poem, at the end of one line said, I cope, don't ask, which I liked. I thought it was really good. Yes, yes um, I particularly liked that. Yeah. And in, in Kate's poem, um, there was a phrase like migrating geese in wavering lines people move from east to west or west to east i'm sorry yeah okay. people take yeah, flight going, east but west. yeah yes yeah, i really like that line so i like that but but i think in general people had powerful and strong imagery um and i think as i've mentioned before took different takes on 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 the theme of what's new year so um it was really original so well done to everybody. Really enjoyed reading them. No, I agree. Um, it was a really lovely selection. And again, much like we get at the open mics, really quite diverse. You know, um, some of some of the poems in the competition were very strident and very challenging for us as readers. Um, in fact, one of the winners here, I think, um, in um, actually, I think it was number 15, Better Ways by Abigail Martin. Um, you know, her poem is really challenging us to um, think about things in a different way in terms of what's been happening with the pandemic. Um, I loved um, a lot of um, the lines in Emma's poem, What's in a Year. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I think we've got a nice, diverse uh, yeah. a good bunch of poems. So well done, everybody. Um, so, so I think all we really need to do, Mike, is just to reiterate the next events that we have coming up um, and hope to see people um, at those events. Absolutely. So can I just m mention those or do you want to? No, please, please take the reins. OK, um, so April 6th is next Wednesday and that's the open mic in person at Wagtail Coffee and Yoga from 6.30. Um, if you haven't signed up yet for our Words of Art workshop at Pallant House Gallery in Chichester, you really 
would be adv I'd advise you strongly to have a look at the detail of what that's about. And I think you'd find that quite interesting. Um, writing um, something influenced by the works of art available in the studio we'll be in. And there are a lot of fantastic works of art available to choose from in there. And that information is on our website. Mike gave you the address earlier, wordsoutloud.org.uk. Or you can also book on Pallant House website, which is pallant.org.uk. And can I just say about that, Ken? Um, it's a real privilege for us uh, as, as a relatively new group. This is our second year of offering these free open mics. I mean, we offer free events um, twice a month and uh, some of our other um, themed events are always free. We ask for donations and that's so that we can continue to do all the work that's involved in organizing the events, hosting them, building and developing the website um, and just the, the time and skill and energy that goes into um, making all of this happen. So we're really, we feel really privileged and thrilled to be actually in the Pallant House Gallery. It's a wonderful, wonderful gallery. Um, and like a lot of places in Chichester this year, it's celebrating an important birthday. Pallant House is 40 years old this year. Um, and as Ken says, they have a wonderful workshop room, which is full of fascinating, um, diverse pieces of art, um, painting, sculpture, um, all sorts of things in, a, in quite a big workshop room. Uh, so we're going to be in there um, and people can come along uh, and take part in the workshop. It's, it's three hours long. Um, and we're really going to be writing, you, you, using the art in the room um, as inspiration. We're responding to that art, how we think and feel in creative writing. So it's okay. a really fun, after, fun, fun workshop. Yeah. Um, interestingly, I, I read somewhere that Pallant House Gallery is thought to be um, second only to Tate Modern in terms of uh, modern art nationally. So that's yeah. quite an interesting thought. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, and then the final date of what we've got coming up in April is April the 20th, which is our Zoom uh, open mic. We have a featured reader, as we always do, on the third Wednesday every month. This time it's, it's local poet Barry Smith. Um, who will be reading from his works and I think his recently published book, um, followed by an open mic. Now, so we, we encourage you to uh, tune in on Zoom to that, but also we're going to try and experiment this, this one um, with, being, with doing the Zoom from Wagtail. So it, we will be in person at Wagtail and on Zoom. So you, you have your choice of how you want to um, attend that one so that's that's our those are our upcoming events for april definitely that's great so lots of exciting things happening um thank you everybody who entered the competition um please keep in touch with us come along to the events um and also as i often say if you'd like to share something for inclusion on the blog at our website wordsoutloud.org.uk um, send, send us a, an email through the contact form or get in touch with us via email um, and submit something for inclusion on the blog. Um, and yeah, we hope to see as many of you as possible at some of our next events. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye.